Are you the victim of a tyrannical state government that's forcing you to use compliant grips on your semi-automatic rifles? Then this review, it's for you. Brian Kerber here with Take Aim TV. In this episode, we're testing and reviewing the Resurgent Arms Compliant Grip, their ergonomic end plate, and their Ambi Extended Safety. Let me break this down for you. If you're not from a tyrannical state like New York or California, basically, if you have a semi-automatic rifle with a detachable magazine, you cannot have any features on it, such as a pistol grip and some other things. But mainly, let's talk about the grip. You cannot have a pistol grip with a detachable magazine. The only way that would be legal is if you have a pinned magazine and then you can have a pistol grip. But not really um, a good rifle for self-defense if you can't quickly change your magazines to clear malfunctions or reload. Uh, so they don't care about your safety, but I do. So let's talk about these compliant grips that basically make it legal for you to have this rifle. You would still need to have a fixed stock for this to be considered a legal option. So if you're gonna go with one of these grips, you still need to have a fixed stock. You cannot have an adjustable stock. So they do sell fixed stocks out there, or you could get these devices, Resurgent Arms even sells one that it's basically a thing that makes your stock unadjustable. Uh, and then it works good with these kind of grips. So if you're in one of these terrible states like I am, you're, you have three options. You either uh, pin your mag and call it a day, you can go featureless, uh, which is what I did, or you can just not comply. That's up to you. <laughs> Let's first start by talking about the grip. So I noticed right away with this grip compared to like the New York compliant spur grip is that there's a lot more real estate on the resurgence arms grip. Uh, they do have two thumb shelves on each side. There's just a little bit more to grab, which makes it easier for things like reloads and stuff. I found with the spur grip, I was killing my wrist to try to hold the whole rifle with basically just like the little bit you're holding. This just gave me a little bit more grip. Now, is it better than like a pistol grip? <laughs> Absolutely not. Pistol grip beats any of these all day. But compared to like the spur grip, there is more there to grab. This is a polymer grip and attaches to the rifle just like any other pistol grip would. If you are running an adjustable stock, it needs to be out from the third position from collapse. That will give you enough room for your thumb to wrap around the grip. If you're running a fixed stock, it most likely won't fit. I'm running Magpul's fixed stock and I had to adjust and modify my buffer tube to where this thing was still fixed but out further because I was not able to get my hand around the top, which makes the grip extremely uncomfortable and pretty hard to use. I've used three different, basically featureless rifle grips slash stocks. I've used the Resurgent Arms grip, Spur grip, and the Thorson stock system. And I would say out of the three, I do like the Resurgent Arms better. I would say maybe a close second would be Thorston when it comes to grip real estate. And then the Spur is nice because it's minimalist and stuff, but there's just not much to grab on the Spur in comparison. Uh, so if you're really running your carbine for a while, the spur can kind of fatigue you a lot quicker. If you're just doing simple things, you know, you're going out and you're shooting for a little bit, the spur grip will get, get the job done. And it gives you that traditional AR look without the weird paintball gun look that like the Thorson has. But I do prefer this traditional look in, you know, the hopes and dreams that someday that these laws will be re repealed and we will be able to go back to a pistol grip. The grip comes in black, flat dark earth, or OD green. So another issue that a lot of people run into with these compliant grips is that our hands are much higher on the carbine than normal. So things like your end plate and castle nut can actually be rubbing on the web of your like your thumb here and it can be extremely irritating after a long day of shooting or you're even cut you open if you know if your equipment has gotten sharp or you know banged up a little bit over the years of use research and arms came out with a end plate that has a curve to it that is much more comfortable the slope covers up your castle nut all the edges are nice and round, so that is a cool feature. I would highly recommend it if you're either running the spur grip or the resurgent arms grip to definitely look into this end plate. If you know how to assemble one of these rifles, you will easily know how to install the ergonomic end plate. The end plate has four different color options, black, red, OD green, and desert tan. For those of you who've used featureless rifles, you will know that it is very difficult to properly manipulate your safety mechanism on these rifles because you can kick it off but it's very hard to reach it with your thumb 
to put it back on. And that's very important. I know some people do not believe in manipulating their safety. They think, oh, this is my safety. Oh, tough guy. But guess what? In the real world, you need to know how to be able to manipulate that safety in between drills and stuff like that. So if you are not doing that, then you are not being safe with your firearms. So this is a cool feature where they made the safety come further to the rear and they added a thumb shelf so you could hit it more. It does work as they describe. It was easier to manipulate the safety with these compliant featureless stocks and grips and things like that. The only downside to it is that it's very thin on that thumb part that comes out and it's pointy. So if you're resting your carbine against your chest when it's slung, it kind of sticks you right in the ribs. So I don't like that part of it. And I'm very concerned because of its thinness that it, will it bend or break over time? It's not showing any signs of that, but it is a thin piece of metal that, you know, could break from abuse. And so I wouldn't want that to happen, especially if you have a plate carrier on and it's hitting that constantly and maybe being bumped against your chest. So it would be nice to see that material made a little thicker and round off those edges so it's not so sharp. But I like where their head's at, man. This is a cool feature because not a lot of people are making safeties designed for featureless rifles. And I'm glad to see that they're thinking of us and they're making a, a product that can make us manipulate our rifles in a safe manner. This also comes in four different color options. The install itself is extremely easy and anybody should be able to figure it out. So in all in all, if you're looking for a complying grip, I would definitely recommend the Resurgence Arms grip. It made a big difference in the way I could hold the rifle. It was a lot less fatigue on my wrist. Just remember to make sure your stock is compatible if you are gonna go with an adjustable stock. To stay featureless, you have to make sure you make that no longer operable. The end plate, once again, highly recommend it. If you're running featureless, those rounded edges, it looks great and it feels much better on your hand. The safety, I gave my concerns. I think there could be some room for improvement on the safety. Once again, I like where their head was at and making something so we can operate our rifles in a safe manner. Huge shout out to the Firing Pin in Bridge, New York for allowing us to use their outdoor private range for our training and filming for this video. They also have an indoor public range that you can come down and shoot. They sell guns, ammo, all that cool stuff. So make sure you check them out. The Firing Pin in Bridge, New York. And thank you to Pat over at First Line Defense for giving us some instructions. Uh, his training is priceless. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Carbon TV. I want to see you over there. As always, remember to stay aware, carry often, and I'll see you next time.